Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for smart software tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Signal Hire, a powerful browser extension and platform that helps recruiters and sales pros find verified email addresses, phone numbers, and social media profiles in just a few clicks. Whether you are looking to connect with a top talent on LinkedIn or reach key decision makers for your next big sale, Signal Hire can seriously streamline your outreach. So we will walk you through exactly how to use a Signal Hire step by step from installing the extension to extracting verified contact info like a pro. So let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do visit the official website of a Signal Hire. On the top corner you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the sign up button or click the start free trial. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. It's very simple. You just have to provide all the information needed and to make the account creation faster and easier here in Signal Hire, you can sign up using your LinkedIn, Google, or your Microsoft account. And then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of a Signal Hire. And right off the bat, it is offering for you to install Signal Hire extension to get 5 extra credits. All right? If you don't want that, just click the X button, but I am going to install uh, install it, especially if you are using a Google Chrome. I'm going to click on it. And from here it's very simple, just click the Add to Chrome, click the Add extension and it'll do its magic. Wait for it. Want to make sure that you are connected to an active and stable internet connection so that it's not going to interfere with the loading times. And from here, you can start to use extension or go to workspace depending on your preferences. In my case, I'm going to do that right here. All right. And then there's going to be another welcome um, dialog box wherein you can boost your outreach efficiency with the sequences feature. All right. If you click the visit sequences, you will be forwarded here. We can create a new sequence since this is a newly created account. We don't have anything yet in place. So what we can do is we can connect it right now or skip for later all right so what will happen is we need to add people to sequence but before that all right so let's say add people to sequence we don't have any people yet so we're going to add people to sequence right here by going to a specific filter area here for the people now for the location for example um we're gonna be choosing people around new york okay um, let's say in this instance we're gonna be using that and then title maybe um maybe YouTube content creator YouTube or maybe YouTube that's gonna be what we're looking for you youtuber youtuber is okay we don't have anything yet in place for the full name but I believe that's okay for this status for managing profiles maybe I'm gonna leave it as it is you can put in advanced research I'm gonna click the search button all right, so we have like Jessica Cirano, Daniel Piper, um, Audrey Nguyen, Joe Scotto, Andy Cook. So we have Andy Cook, let's say here, Joe Scotto. We have that already. So now for us to be able to add it to the sequence, okay, we need to add this to our list. All right. And if you wanted to reveal this context for a specific, Person, for example, um, let's say, let's select Joe Scotto. If you want to reveal contacts, it's very simple. Click the reveal contacts, and then the contacts are being searched, and you have the mobile phones right here, plus the work phones and the email list. You can also click on the show more if they have like a three to um, four to five email addresses that you can do. Now, once you've uh, wanted to add Joe Scotto to one of your mailing lists or to your campaigns, I want you to click the add to lead list. We don't have anything yet in place, so click on save. All right, so we have now added Joe Scotto to our lead list. Name is going to be, say, for example, um, okay, so. We have that already here. And then 
once we have finalized that, since we already know how to search people, we're gonna use, we're gonna ex um, explain all of the people, companies, job projects, and lead lists here. Now, obviously, the people tab is gonna be your main feature that we have um, tried earlier. And again, we can filter by name, company, job title, location, a lot more. We're gonna skip that because I want you to go to the companies where you can search for businesses and see detailed company profiles. For example, let's say we're gonna be choosing company name is Signal Hire. You can put in the city, industry, and employee. I'm just gonna click the uh, search button. With this, you can search for the employees for Signal Hire. Like if you wanted to look for um, decision makers, so you can monitor who is hiring, what roles are they hiring for, or adjust your outreach accordingly, all right? This is a very great for recruiters or sorting candidates or B2B teams targeting companies with current hiring needs. It's very simple to use really because we have been using um, Signal Hire for quite some time. And let me tell you, it's straightforward. So we're going to create a new project here from scratch. Title is going to be this. Let's say in this instance, how to use Signal Hire. I'm going to upload a photo. Description is this, location, and once you've done that, we have successfully created our first um, project here. Okay, so we have that already covered. Now with this, we're going to the lead lists. We have that already. We have created our lead list earlier. Remember that? So we're going to save this as it is and then we're gonna go to the sequences which is part of the uh, subscription plan it's beta it allows you to send email sequences or drip campaigns to your leads you can schedule multi multiple follow-ups automatically but again it requires for you to subscribe to the uh, premium plan and all the while you have the lead tracker beta it's gonna be a um, light crm feature to track your interactions with leads similar to the sequences it's part of the subscription plan which helps you stay organized and manage your pipeline efficiency. Now I'm going to my LinkedIn account very quickly. And as you may notice, since we have added the signal hire extension, it's already here. All right. SH. If you click that, I'm going to click with the accept button. So it's a lot easier to manage our profiles here. For example, I'm going to search for maybe signal hire people. Okay, so we're going to search for uh, spe uh, specific people. Okay, so we're going to go to the signal hire and go to the people. All right, you can type in maybe a decision makers. For example, maybe I'm CEO or president. We don't have yet anything in place. Let's say in this instance, we're going to be choosing a random profile from... Uh, Okay, so we have chosen Nikki, and as you may notice, once I have searched for her profile, the uh, signal hire extension will give you all the information here, all right? If you click that, you will be forwarded here, wherein you can add Nikki automatically so that you can reveal its contact and add it to your list, all right? And as you may notice, you have the option to auto open, enable notifications, pin in websites, you have the profile and find the lead option. It's very easy to use all right and with that being said and that's a wrap on how to use signal hire to find emails for recruiting and sales as you have seen signal hire makes it super simple to discover accurate contact information across platforms like linkedin helping recruiters connect with top talent and sales pro reach high value leads faster it is a powerful tool if you are looking to streamline outreach, save time and boost conversions. With its browser extension, detailed lead profiles and CRM friendly features, it's a great asset for both recruitment and sales team. Just make sure to use the data responsibly and ethically. If this video helped you out, do not forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech tutorials and tools walkthroughs just like this one. If you have any questions or maybe have like experiences using Signal Hire before, drop them in the comments below. 
would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.